So Gray, thinking about mistakes that could possibly be made in our business, what do you think the biggest mistake a real estate agent could make? Well, I'm not sure about the biggest mistake because I'm, I'm just a kid, so I don't know everything about it, but I am sure about one mistake that can cost What's something. What's that? Well, when you are, when you get a good offer on a house, you should let it sit for a day or two, and you might even get better offers. Okay, so but maybe if, acting too quickly. Mm -hmm. Because there are some people that have acted too quick and an offer was about to come up for like a 10K more, which would have been way better for the seller. Huh, okay, cool, that's good advice. And why do you think that the agents sometimes make that mistake of acting too quickly? I think they made that mistake because they just want to get it done with and get on to their next, uh, next buyers. Yep, I think you're right about that. So Grayson, a lot of our clients ask us when they're thinking about doing uh, renovations, they're wondering what is the most, uh, what's going to have the most impact, the best return on investment, ROI, for their money. And so in thinking about that, what kind of recommendations would you make if they were trying to make the biggest impact? Well, for the best, I would do the kitchen because that's the one that mainly people use. So, okay. and also the master bath because that's something that a lot of people use also like every day. Okay, so kitchens maybe number one and then master bath. So mainly the stuff they use every day except for your bedroom because that would probably be third. Grayson, when you pull up to a house, what's the first thing that you notice about the house that you pull up to? Well, honestly, I look at the door and what's around the door. That's just, that's mainly what I see. It's just I look at the door first. Okay, so if the door is all beat up, that's probably not a very good first impression. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, at least my opinion is.